Jeff Jones returns to the broadcast booth again this season for the third year of his weekly radio show. Each Saturday during the season, fans can listen live on 1500 AM or click on auegles.com for the archived half-hour show. This season's first show was set just prior to the official start of practice. The taping was held at Maggiano's in Friendship Heights for season ticket holders and Eagles club members. Coach Jones was joined by AU alumnus and Turner Sports broadcaster David Aldrich, class of 1987. The first edition of this year's Jeff Jones Radio Show. Excited that you're along with us. We're coming to you from Maggiano's. The radio show is a way for us to engage people and invite them into our community and make sure they stay connected. And then it's also a way for our alums and our supporters to hear from folks who are prominent alums. We can give them a little bit more insight uh, to the AU program. Not just the X's and O's and the wins and losses, but the different personalities and the things that go on behind the scenes. This is a coach, I know he's been doing this for years and years, but he's not shy about telling us what the strengths of the teams are, what the weaknesses are. And I think as an alum, I really appreciated him telling us the ways that we can try and help the team and we can try and support the athletic program and support all of our student athletes. How about our freshmen? So two freshmen this year, obviously got a chance to go on the foreign tour. So you got a chance to kind of see them a little early. What do you what do you think about them, your initial impressions, and how do you see them contributing this year? Well, I, I think John Schof, uh, uh 6'5", wing player uh, from, from this area, his strength right now, I think, is just being in the right place. Uh, and, and there's uh, a lot to be said for, for that. Um, I think Kyle Kager, um, his, uh, his roommate, and we're going to see him progress and improve through the course of the year. Um, we'll, we'll see. I mean, if, uh, if, if he improves fast enough, you know, he, he might be able to help this year's team. If not, there's no question that down the road, Kyle Kager's going to be a very good player. My job requires me to be dispassionate and requires me to be objective. The only time I get to say we and us is when I'm talking about American University <laughs> and American University basketball. That's why I love doing this show. My favorite part is being a we. Having someone as high profile and as prominent as him, being so invested in our program is just wonderful and, and also creates a lot of enthusiasm amongst our supporters. I love this schedule this year. I mean, first of all, you know, even the road games are not that far away, so the travel's not, not prohibitive, but you have great opportunities, whether it's at Georgetown or at Villanova, St. Francis. I love that we're getting involved with St. Francis. I just think these are, these are great tests for it a young team that's trying to find out who it is. One of the games I'm excited about this year is St. Joe's. Um, that's kind of the biggest name that's, that's come into Bender, certainly since I've worked here, and, um, and just really kind of fired up that they're going to be here. That's going to be really exciting. We'd, we'd like to get you know, more of the, the, the bigger names to, to come to Bender, the Atlantic 10s or, or some of the uh, other bigger, bigger conference schools you know, to, to come to Bender. Yeah, well, it's great hope schedules. These kind of events will really give us good momentum going in the season help us with our season ticket base and make sure that when we start the basketball season, Bender is going to be packed and loud. Tonight was a real chance to learn what's going on firsthand from the coaches, from the athletic department, and really understand where this team is heading and what the season's going to bring. So if you care about AU athletics, you had to be here tonight. And you want people to be active and, and, and be proud in the program. And when you have that, that kind of involvement, that translates into to more success. Thanks to Maggiano's and Chevy Chase for hosting us. Good afternoon, everybody. <laughs>